keyboard shortcuts. Let's say that I want to run ls on this directory. Then I realize what I really wanted to run was lsl. I could type the whole thing again, but that's tedious. I can use the up arrow to retrieve the same command, and then use the arrow keys to navigate backward, but that's also tedious. So after hitting up, if I'm at the end of the line, one option I have is to hit Control A. My cursor returns to the beginning of the line. Now, I'm not far away from the place where I want to add my flag. Again, Control A takes my cursor to the beginning of the line. If I want to return to the end of the line, I can hit Control E. Tab completion makes typing out paths very convenient. <clears throat> I'll just stop after HO and then hit Tab. Tab completion completes the directory name for me, so long as the directory name is unambiguous. Tab completion doesn't work if I only type in B as the first letter of the next directory. The path is ambiguous, and I must specify another letter. That was the only directory inside home that began with B, R, and so tab completion worked after two letters. Tab completion doesn't only work for directory names or file names. Tab can also work for environment variables, dollar sign P A is enough to give me tab completion for path. Tab completion can give me the command itself. EC tab is enough to find echo. And finally, Tab completion can also complete usernames. Notice when I typed LA, 
tab completion got me as far as in, but then stopped because there is more than one username that begins with L A N. Permission denied. Oh well, it was worth a try. We'll talk about permissions in another lecture.